Hello. Hi, Kostya. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? Uh, cool. And I believe you can hear me well, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, then, Kostya, um, thank you for for your interest uh, in in the opportunity shown to you by by Igor. Uh, and if you don't mind, my proposition for this call is that I will share some details uh, with you and then if you have any questions, I will try to answer them, okay? Okay, let's start. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe starting from, from some general information about uh, our company, I don't know how far you might recognize it, but in general, uh, we as IPAM cooperate with uh, the outside companies for whom uh, we deliver all the software engineering lifecycle. So basically, uh, client orders some uh, set uh, set product, and for, for for them we do all the uh, all the stuff starting from planning, uh, view coding, uh, testing it, and uh, releasing it to the to the ready uh, uh, valuable product. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to clients, we have them from quite a few branches. Uh, this very role uh, that I've heard that you would be interested in, uh, which is JavaScript uh, with Vue.js, Vue uh, yes. is it the one? It, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this, uh, this position uh, is in the existing team. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this, this team is focusing on the project for uh, our client uh, who does uh, the insurances. Uh, so for, for their uh, web application, uh, we, we do uh, the solutions uh, requested by, by the client. Mm -hmm. mm, so, so that's from the basics. Uh, and when it comes to the recruitment process for, for this position, uh, these are uh, two up to three stages. Uh, so first interview is a technical check. Uh, it takes, let's say, one hour, one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's conducted by one of our uh, developers. Mm -hmm. They would uh, ask you maybe for, for some coding, uh, maybe some theoretical questions. If you have any uh, questions to them also, uh, what it looks like to be a uh, software developer in our company, uh, what are the daily duties and stuff like this, uh, also feel free to ask. Mm, and if this technical interview goes well, and if you are happy with, with uh, what you have heard uh, from, uh, from, from our interviewer, then we would go to the second stage, uh, which is a client interview. Mm -hmm. mm, the client interview is, uh, or client interview, sometimes we call it project fitting. Uh, so it's someone uh, who, who works in that very project, either on our side or, or on the side of client. Mm, and it would be rather a check of, uh, of the addition uh, of your skills to the team, how you could develop yourself, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some uh, check regarding your uh, knowledge uh, in in interview, mm, so 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 some uh, some kind of a, a specific conversation mm, about what you exactly would be doing in in our uh, company in that project. Mm -hmm. uh, this second interview takes up to one hour, mm, and the final stage is a conversation with a manager. Uh, the manager of this position uh, is in Krakow, uh, in the office uh, where you also would be working uh, in Krakow, our, our main office. Mm, so I believe this is also a positive aspect that if you joined us, uh, mm -hmm. you would have an opportunity to cooperate with him uh, in the same building, not only on emails. Mm. And during this manager interview, uh, it rather is a kind of a soft skill check. Uh, sometimes uh, initial terms of cooperation are discussed uh, during this interview uh, and here the, the process ends uh, and we either release an offer and await your answer or uh, ask you to, to get back to us in, in, in a couple of months. But uh, we believe uh, this will be successful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. uh, are we clear so far? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm, then, if uh, if if uh, this occurs, uh, that you would receive an offer from us, uh, then and if you accepted it, then we uh, take care of all the relocation process. Uh, I mean, requesting the work permit, uh, sending you the docs uh, to apply to your embassy, uh, booking a flight tickets and stuff like this. This is all on us. Um, also, the cost related to this is on us. Um, and for the first uh, month of living in Krakow, if you moved here, uh, you also get the access to company's apartment. Uh, to find something comfortable for yourself during this time, and so that you do, don't don't have to rush uh, on the on the first days uh, of being in Krakow. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, how it works. And uh, in general, just to let you know, uh, from the day uh, when we receive acceptance of the offer, it takes uh, between two and three months uh, all the process uh, until getting you on board. Uh, in which is included the answer from the labor office with the work permits and the you the docs, uh, your embassy's answer and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, then, Kostya, could you please tell me, uh, if you decided to move to Krakow, uh, would anyone be traveling with you or you would be coming on your own? No, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. well, I've got it. Uh, then, could you please tell me if you have checked uh, the salary branches in Poland, if you are somehow uh, familiar with it, if you have any salary expectation at this moment? Mm, no, it's not main for me. For, many, uh, for me, the main is... Uh, is... Um, experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Uh, and uh, is there any other areas uh, apart from Vue.js uh, that you would like to develop yourself? Yeah. Excuse me? Mm, apart from Vue.js, uh, is there something else that you would like to learn? What is apart? Uh, something else then. Mm, what I prefer? I mean, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, ex Vue.js and something else, maybe, uh, from your preferences? Yes, no, uh, Vue.js is my preference, but mm -hmm. but uh, I can uh, learn other frameworks. Um, okay, and uh, what, is, uh, what is your, let's say, uh, second preference, uh, no, then, um, then Vue.js? I'm just, I'm just asking because we have... Uh, some uh, some opportunities to f to develop uh, our our employees. Uh, so I just want to uh, want to know which direction uh, you would like to go. Mm. And uh, which kind of it uh, direction? Mm. Mm, we have some uh, full stack projects. Uh, ah. We have JavaScript with Angular. Uh, we have uh, core JavaScript projects, uh, so there are there are quite a few opportunities uh, to to choose from. Mm -hmm. So I uh, want to learn JavaScript, mm -hmm. not not backend. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I've got it. Uh, then what else do we have? Mm, could you please tell me uh, when eventually, uh, because just to let you know, after after this conversation, I will send the recommendation to uh, to our managers to check uh, your CV and other details, uh, and then they will decide uh, to which project uh, we could uh, schedule the technical interview. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me when would you be available for this technical interview? Mm, how much time? It's, it's uh, one much. hour, one hour and a half. Mm, so maybe I can uh, write you later. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully.
Okay, so I can I can wait for this. Uh, would you send this to me on Skype? Yes. Okay. So also just to let you know, uh, once we will have, once I will get your answer, uh, we will schedule the interview. Mm, you will get the invitation to your email, uh, mm. and uh, we'll just wait for for your answer because there will be. Uh, information, what time the inter interview will be, uh, the link to the interview and other details and we'll just wait for you to accept it. Yes, nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so, from this uh, basics I needed to know from you, I think we've got it. Uh, do you have any questions at this moment? No, I can uh, write you a letter <laughs> about my questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you if you had any questions, feel free to catch me on Skype and I will try to answer them. Uh, okay. Are you are you Polish? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, do you know Russian language? Uh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry? Why? Why not? Uh, it was not necessary to me because our uh, language uh, of work is uh, English, a general one. Uh, so also the technical interview, just to let you know, uh, will be in English as well. Mm. Mm, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I believe you are okay with uh, taking part in this interview in English? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so, so, then I will be waiting for, for your answer and then we will proceed uh, further. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Thank you and have a good day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good day. Thanks, bye. Польша, блядь, не знает русский, да? Польша не знает русский. Американский голос. Ну, у него польское имя. Вот. Польш... Польское лицо. Националист, что ли? Да, похож. тоже есть почему-то из Польши <laughs> из Польши меня собеседует почему-то Стрелки будут скоро. Где? То есть уже есть в Москве. Какие перестрелки? Ну вот три четыре дня назад было. С кем? Кого-то там убили. Началось? Ну, двух убили в упор. Куда-то че... чиновников. А, ну блядь, правильно. Если мы бабки взяли, дело не сделали. Пойду пахать дальше. Поэтому посмотри. Пойдите еще раз.
Сейчас. А, ну все, да. Сейчас все, да. То есть, ну, да.